We're standing uh, in the crown of a human triggered slide that occurred off Woody Ridge just south of Cook City. It occurred a couple days ago. And what happened is there were two skiers. Skier one came down, threw in a ski cut, kind of right above us, right where the slab was really thick. and didn't impact the weak layer at all, which is six, seven feet below the surface. He skied down, didn't trigger the slide, and then cut into the trees, skier, skier right. And then skier two dropped in more on the right side of the path where the snowpack was a lot thinner. You can see some rocks up there, it's more scoured. And he skied down and he impacted the weak layer. It looks like right over here by these rocks. You can kind of see an old ski track in there where the snowpack is just like a foot deep. So he impacted that weak layer over here, propagated into this deeper part of the snowpack, creating this really deep, large slide. Fortunately, he was able to cut off the trees and not get caught. So it's uh, it's worth noting, you know, you can have these slopes where it's really deep on one side of the of the path and really thin on another, and it's just really worth paying attention to the characteristics of the slope you're on trying to avoid these thin rocky areas where you could potentially trigger, uh, trigger these larger slides. So just keep that in mind as we continue to get more snow and more load. Uh, we just came across this slide this just occurred we were riding in this area about an hour ago and this slide wasn't here and it appears to be remotely triggered uh, from towards the bottom of the slope we're near companion lake uh, just northeast of cook city near the wilderness boundary and uh, it's just basically the new snow um, about a foot and a half over the last couple days and that is sitting on top of a about a one centimeter ice crust that formed you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday during a brief high pressure period. We're on a south facing slope. So this new snow is failing on this ice crust. A group of skiers triggered some slides on a similar aspect yesterday. And it's just bullseye data that avalanches are still happening.